Today I'm adding four new sensors. I'm adding a TPMS, an open door closed sensor, motion detector, and water leak detector. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin and today I'm doing an upgrade. Normally I make videos on upgrades, fixes, repair, maintenance, and even travel videos that we make when we go out camping. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for all the hardware and sensors myself, but I will put links in the description below in case you have interest in adding this kind of functionality in your RV. I'm adding TPMS, door open close, motion detector, and of course water leak detection. The first sensor that I'm installing is the Pressure Pro Tire Monitoring System, or TPMS. If you don't already have one of these in your RV, this might be something you'd be interested in. The TPMS sensors are probably going to be the most important sensors that I have, the most useful or valuable to me. We pull a travel trailer behind our truck, and so going down the road, whether it's in hot desert conditions or on a rough, bumpy, rocky road, it'd be a good thing to know if we've got tire problems. So I picked up the Tire Pressure Pro monitor system with four sensors. I'm gonna monitor the four wheels of my RV. I already have TPMS built in on my four truck, so this time I'm not adding those to my truck. This is the Pulse FX and it's meant for towables. I like the fact that it connects to the RV Whisper and has a ton of features that I won't be able to cover in this video. It'll make it way too long. So for now, I'm plugging it into the cabinet, hooking up some power, temporarily hanging the antenna out, and I'll permanently install it later on in the video. Next, you're going to need to go to your Android or Apple Store and download the Pressure Pro TPMS app. You're going to need to set up an account with them to continue the process. Once you set up your username and password and some of your information, make sure your Bluetooth is on and hit the connect button to connect to your device. Once you're connected to the device, it's pretty automatic. You're going to follow the process here and set up the type of trailer that you have. In my case, it's going to be a bumper pull and it's a four wheel trailer. I have two axles. So in order to set this up, you're going to touch the tire and then go out and screw on the device. Once it gets pressure to it, it activates, sinks up, and that tire's good. On to the next one. Touch the tire on the screen of your app. Go screw on the sensor. Another one detected. On to the next one. This process continues until you have all your tires paired up with the main unit. Admittedly, I've never put in a TPMS before, but it was way easier than I expected. It took me longer to just read through the instructions than it did to actually install the sensors. At this point, you're going to be prompted with a few more setup screens. If you know your existing tire pressure, what the ratings should be, um, that's going to help you go through and set up some fine-tuned details. I skipped that. I'm going to go through it later on, but just know that you can spend as little or as much time as you want getting this stuff configured. I've got enough information here to know what my trailer tires are going to be set up for now, and I'm happy with that. The last thing that's left for me to do is to integrate this with RV Whisper. The setup is really straightforward. You just need the serial number on the back of the Pulse FX. One of the things I really appreciate is the instructions in the RV Whisper app. Every sensor that you put in is different, and Ed's gone to great detail to put instructions in the app so you don't have to go look for a manual or print something out to get your sensor up and running. And that saves a lot of time, in my opinion. I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step entry for the tire sensors because I've done that kind of thing on different videos. I think you get the idea, you know how simple it is to get through the process. I set these up on the main screen, and then I go in to take a look and see if the reporting is already collecting data. So seeing tire information is going to be pretty cool. I'm installing it here in the cabinet. I'd use a double-sided tape, stuck it to the wall, ran the antenna out through the bottom of the cabinet where I have a hole, and used its double-sided tape to stick to the bottom of the cabinet. And I'm calling that good. In future videos, I'm going to be showing you how this system works in our RV, and I can't wait to do that. The next would probably be the door sensor. On one of our recent camping trips, which I didn't record, we actually forgot to lock the side door. When you're packing up camp and getting ready to go, you do forget things sometimes. I forgot to lock that door, and when we stopped at one of our pit stops we had, I went back and looked, and the door was hanging wide open. So this is going to be really nice to know this as you're going down the road. Setup was really just putting in a battery and putting the double back tape, sticking it to the door frame where I wanted this to go. I took the serial number and entered it in an RV whisper, registered it and validated the sensor in the system, and now it will start tracking the open and closed status of my door. The most valuable part of this sensor is going to be the fact that I can get a text message or an email letting me know the door is open when I'm not home. Now, if you have your RV parked in a campground or a storage facility, and you want to know if it's safe 
and you have internet connection for your RV while it's being parked, um, most certainly the motion detector, the door lock, uh, the door open close sensor is going to be a useful tool for you to know if someone's inside your RV. So the setup here is really straightforward. We're going to put the two supplied batteries into the unit and it's ready to go. The serial number for this device that we're going to use to put it into RV Whisper is on the inside of the unit. And it's listed by the MAC address so it's like 16 characters long. That's what we're going to type in here and validate the sensor. Once this is done, we're ready to mount the unit wherever we would like. At this point, the motion sensor is on now and tracking movement. So we should be recording data to the system. So we've got the motion detector all powered up. I've got it connected to the RV Whisper, and all that's left is for me to mount this. I've decided on a spot that I want to have right about here, which is just off the air conditioner, but yet still central to the cabin area and won't be affected by the slide when it's put in. So I'm going to mount this and we'll give it a couple of tests. At this point, you can see there's no motion, but once I pick up the unit and start moving it around, the sensor automatically picked motion detected and it's listed on the RV Whisper status page. Next up is the water sensor. I've got this powered up. It's registered with the RV Whisper and I'm ready to uh, put this thing. There's nothing really to install it on, but you'll notice that there are some gold pins here on the bottom of the sensor and that's what detects the water. When water uh, connects to any of the pins there, it sets it off and lets you know that you have water in the area. There's no real mounting um, this water sensor. You put it where you think there's going to be a leak. And in my case, I'm going to put it in where the water pump goes. The water pump is directly underneath the sink. So I'm going to install it there, just set it in there, make sure it doesn't flip around and uh, we'll call it good. I'll do a couple of tests first and I'll get the connectors to reach. And that is these gold pins here. When they uh, make contact with water, it should set it off. After the test that I make, I'm going to take this uh, and set it underneath the sink, which is where the water pump is in my RV. And because the water sensor isn't something you install, this can be moved to any location that you want. So I've got the four sensors installed. We did a little bit of testing. I got them added into the RV Whisper. I'm ready to go for the next camping trip. And of course, in the future, I'll do video updates on how these sensors work, what I like, what I don't like, and on from there. So if you liked the video and you got something out of this, smash that like button down below. It helps the video and it helps the channel. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Click that notification bell and you'll get more videos like this. Repair, fix it, and travel videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.